All right, uh, the next thing is that we need to put them side by side to each other. So um, what we're gonna do from accounts show blade is to make the two forms align side by side. And one way to do that is to add an extra um, attribute called class. So let's add class in the opening tag of the form and um, make it pull left. That is how you move things left in Bootstrap 3. So we're gonna copy this thing in the second form, look at the opening tag of the second form. After method, we're gonna add class pull right so that it goes right. So if we come to refresh, you will see that uh, it now works well. So, however, we still need this uh, small space in between. There are many ways you can add space. For instance, we can we can add another attribute on one of them. This is the second one, and say style. In the style, we can give a margin left, let's say 10 pixels. Refresh. Um, we need to log in. You see? Moves well now. All right. So, but the thing is that um, the icons are not well fitted. So, we need to go to Font Awesome to get a good icon. So, Font Awesome and uh, we need to something that looks like pay all right so this is it now we're gonna look at pay so what do we pay uh, uh we're looking for an icon that has anything to do with pay i think this is it amazon pay paypal pay whatever cut credit card i think we're gonna have to go with one of them i think um we we'll go with this credit card all right so here in the glyphicon oh it's using bootstrap glyphicon beautiful so let's click on this it has opened so here we're gonna copy the plus and um, come here and paste If we come to our app and refresh, uh, at least this one should change. Uh, well, as usual, you could have this problem where you have to put R or S. So you test the R first. If the R works, the R didn't work, we're gonna test the S. So that's one thing with Font Awesome. I don't know why they did their platform like that. Um, both of them didn't work. Surprise, surprise. I think um, what we're going to do is to go and take Bootstrap's um, icon. So if you go to Bootstrap, you open Bootstrap Trade, that is getbootstrap.com, getbootstrap.com, and it's opening. Yep. Slash components. Yep. Getbootstrap.com slash components. I want to use Bootstrap icon. So from Bootstrap. When it opens, you will see different icons you can use on Bootstrap. And I think this one simply works. Black icon, black icon, okay. It works. So we can get back to our code and use it. Bottom line is that you can use any either font or some of Bootstrap on this. So I'm going to call this okay. So if we come here and refresh, it should be sorted. Then I'm going to write a simple code. And that code is, you see, um, only one of these need to show at any time. For instance, if you are the owner of this account, you see only this. If you are the admin, you see only this. So let's make sure that only admin can see this first. So here we can put an if statement at if um, of, remember how we know who is an admin, user role ID, right? So if the role ID is less than three, that is an admin or staff moderator and if so only admins can see this and then um, we need only the person that owns this account to be able to see this so we can do the same thing if if your user ID if the user ID is the same thing as the account underscore user ID as the account user underscore id beautiful if you're the guy then you can 
see the button that will help you to apply for payout let's end it and we're good if we refresh now um only one should show because i'm a buyer not an admin and i'm the owner of this account see apply for payout now now if i click on this see what will happen it pops up this because we just copied the code the code somewhere um pops up let me show you um on click you see the on click event oops what happened so you click you see the on click event uh throws a confirm all right so in the next video we're going to change this to are you really sure you want to apply for payout and all thank you very much see you